at this stage of our to-do application we have the submit button and we would like to submit the to-do task and we are and all the processing is happening inside this uh, function handle submit so so far things are looking good however over here we need to get the value that the user has typed so typically we read the value from the dom in when we are working with other applications but here we but here react.js needs to maintain state so in order to to do its job properly it needs to know every single time when we are typing something because when we are typing then we are changing the state of this input field and react needs to be notified of that so the way we can handle that is is by using control components so before i go to react.js documentation i just want to say one more thing Think of it as a mental model where there is this UI elements with submit, but the submit buttons are not directly dealing with the browser. When you submit, then there is a React.js in between and React.js will intercept all the calls and React.js will do the state management and then it will tell the browser that, hey browser, display these elements. That's why React.js is called a view layer technology because it sits in your view and 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 any interaction by the user is intercepted by react.js you are not directly dealing with the browser even though it seems like that that is not the case okay so let's go to forms uh, react and this is i'm going to make the screen bigger so here we are in the forms of react.js documentation and we have two types of components controlled components and uncontrolled components so uncontrolled component is where just you say input is type text and that's it. But in the case of controlled component, React.js needs to know every single time your value is changing. So this is the input field and this is on change. So when it's on change, then we provide a handler and there in the handle change, it, it we need to put this dot set state the value. So if it is too early in the stage, you don't fully understand the difference between controlled components and uncontrolled components. Don't worry about it. In a few uh, weeks or after a few episodes, it will get clearer and clearer. For now, this is the template that React.js has provided for us to use. So we will use that. So here we are back in our application. And in our application, what we need to do is we have this uh, input so in the key. So next to input, we need to say on change this dot handle change. And so what do we need to do on handle change? So let's put that in handle change. Handle change. We'll accept an event. And here we will get the value from the event itself. So var text is equal to event dot target dot value. And we can log this value just to see if you are getting the right value or not. So let's save it, type it, and we'll type milk. And we are not seeing anything. Why is that? And we don't see any value because what we need to do is when we do this dot handle change, we need to bind to the right this value. And if this is it's not it's very it's not very clear and you're not very comfortable with why we need to do bind this, then I would recommend you watch our uh, video series on JavaScript itself. Uh, we have more than 10 videos and all those videos uh, go in detail what the lexical scoping is what is this and how to change this and all those kind of things i will put the link to that those videos in uh, show notes so so here we need to do this dot handle change to bind this so what happened here so why we are getting some error bind of undefined uh, so it is there a typo here h c h a n g okay so now if i type milk i can see the value here 
so that's good and then what we need to do is that after the value has changed we have captured the value we need to set the state so this is the first time you're going to see set state which is the which does all the magic regarding the view rendering uh, so right now let's just go and put the value set state is text and since the value is is a text we are setting the state text we need to come here and we need to change a value is equal to this dot state so because now we are going to read the value from the from the state so think of it at this way that that every single time we are typing now we have typed m so there is a state management tool that has the value that this is m and from that value this value comes back to it because this value is this dot state dot text so so even though you are typing it immediately after typing think that it's wiped out the value goes to the to that central place and from there m is coming back same thing with mi when i do mi of milk the the changed value is over there react.js and the good thing is that in this case react.js is aware of the state it's not just that i have typed here milk one two three react.js knows the state is milk one two three and it's maintaining it in this dot set state which will be used later in fact we are going to use that uh, now capturing the value that has been submitted so let's do that so here we'll do handle submit here we are doing form was submitted but rather than saying form was submitted we will say form submitted value value and we can do var value or we, we started calling it text so let's call it text where text is equal to this dot state dot text so see now we are reading the value from the text and we are going to put the value text here so now if i say milk and if i hit submit i will see i should see the value but we are seeing cannot read properly a state of undefined and that is because if you look at let's click on app.js83 so first thing is that because here when we are submitting it we don't have the right this value so we need to do bind this let's go back to console okay milk submit so form submitted value milk so that's working instead of milk if i do eggs and i hit submit i see form submitted value x so this is working however now let's try refreshing the page if you refresh the page we get the error cannot read property text of null 96 so here the value is trying to get is this dot state dot text and the so if you look at here the on change so in the on change we are providing the value this dot state dot text and this dot state dot text it's it's a state is a null value it's undefined so because it's null uh, we are not we cannot do dot text on it so what we need to do is we need to provide some default text value and the way to define the default text value is we can do constructor the first line should be super and the second line can have this dot state is equal to text so now if i go to console and if i refresh the screen the blank screen comes up and if i type milk i see form submitted milk then if i do eggs the form submitted eggs and that is uh, that is working so so far things are working however after i hit eggs you can see the number is increasing so i'm submitting it multiple times but after each submission this should become blank so that's easy what all we need to do is come here and remember this react has is maintaining a state and the state is has text and the text has currently value eggs 
and whatever is the state value that value is displayed here so one way to clean that up would be just setting this dot set state you set the state back to blank and so once we set the state back to blank when form is submitted so now let's submit and after some submit, submission this has wiped off now we can do milk we can do banana and we can see the value form submitted value milk and banana